In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new and improved tile visualization. The new tile visualization in Oracle Analytics Cloud allows the user to add multiple meshes in the tile, as you can see on my screen. The additional layout options allow the user to optimally position the primary meshes and the secondary meshes, spell the design and needs of your reporting requirement. As you can see, the different layout explained on my screen. Additionally, conditional formatting rules can be applied to both the primary measures and also the secondary measures in the tile visualization. Now let's go into the edit mode and build a tile visualization from scratch. I'm going to add a new canvas. Then we go to the visualization panel and if we scroll down, you can see the new tile visualization under the mode section of the visualization panel. Let's double click on tile and make sure our canvas properties is set to freeform. And I'm going to go to the data source panel and start by adding multiple meshes that make sense for my use case. In this example, I want to add uh, my number of customers as my primary measures and I want to track the order lines and the number of orders in addition to the sales and profit. As you can see, you can also select multiple measures from the data source panel and drag and drop it to um, the, the value section of the tile grammar edge. Let's resize this and go to the property section of the tile visualization and you would see a bunch of properties that we have added for the primary measures and also for the secondary measures. The layout property has a variety of options that allow the user to position the primary and the secondary measures. In this example, I'm gonna select the stop center and I wanna change the label position of my primary measures to be before the value. And I also want to change the orientation of my uh, secondary measures from vertical to horizontal. Now let's go ahead and expand the style visualization so that the label and the values are visible. Conditional formatting rules can also be enabled on the primary and the secondary mesh. Now let's open up the conditional formatting dialog and notice that the author has already added some rules for sales, profit and gross unit price. Let's go back to our tile visualization and invoke these rules, right click on the tile visualization, select conditional formatting and let's turn on the sales. Because sales is a secondary measure, you can see that the value of the sales is basically colored green based on the rule. Let's try to add the, the rule for profit, conditional formatting, go to profit and then turn on the profit rule. If the rule is passed, you can see that the value of the measure is turned red based on the rule. The new and improved tile visualization allows the user to add multiple meshes, control the layout and the positioning of your primary and secondary meshes, and conditionally format the data based on your needs and your reporting requirements. Thank you for watching the video.